Starch, what is it? Well, there are many different kinds of starch molecules. Uh, some of them are made up of straight chains of glucose molecules joined together. Others, the glucose is joined in, in sort of branches. And these different kinds of starches are not digested the same way. The uh, straight chain starch molecules, which we call amylose, are difficult to digest by enzymes because they pack together very closely and the enzymes have a hard time getting at these little granules. On the other hand, the amylopectin type of starch is more easily digested. So what? Well, the more easily starch is digested, the more readily glucose gets absorbed into the bloodstream and we get spikes of glucose. This is not good, especially for diabetics. So what we try to do is to eat less of the starch that drives up blood glucose. We would like to have more of what is referred to as resistant starch. What does resistant starch mean? It resists digestion. And amylose is the one that we are talking about. But people like carbohydrates. We like our pasta. We like our rice. We like our potatoes. And that contains a lot of digestible starch. How do we convert it into resistant starch? Well, believe it or not, not that difficult. You cook your pasta, you cook your potatoes, you cook your rice, cool it down, and then heat it up again. That will convert some of the amylose into amylopectin, which means that we have less of the easily absorbed glucose so that more of it goes through to the colon, basically acting as fiber. It also means that we are lowering our caloric intake because whatever doesn't get absorbed means gets excreted. So by going through this route of taking carbohydrates, taking starchy materials, cooking them, cooling them down and reheating them, we are reducing our calorie intake and we're also basically increasing our fiber intake, which means we're reducing the uh, uh, jumps in blood glucose, which is a good thing not only for diabetics, but for everyone else. So no need to completely avoid these starchy foods, but make sure that you cook them in the proper way.